got our intake boot back in this little ring this outer ring it says top on it make sure that goes to the top not sure what difference that makes fuel line is ready to go for the carburetor got my wiring in place we're ready to slide the carburetor back on there grab your linkage you took off that hooked in there something like that I'm lining up the fuel line and the impulse line at the same time as I push the carburetor in hooked up my linkage pressed it back into this little black fitting right here put the grip back on done having that apart carburetor mounting studs has these two nuts to check operation of all this so that's run stop that looks like it's making contact and that's you got to squeeze the trigger and push that down for the choke and that's choked is closed and the throttle is partly open take it off choke throttle stays partially open and throttle off looks good back to idle so all that looks like it's working fine let's see here we need to put our oil pump back in so we got a um, got the oil pump here that just fits around the uh, crankshaft and the oil line just plugs into the bottom of it like that and then um, push this little plastic fitting that's on this side that goes straight into the line that goes to the oil port, port for the bar. Got two screws that go into there. That's these two guys right here. Got my wires hooked back up right here underneath the flywheel for the ground system for the uh, kill switch. Uh, somehow this got unplugged, so I'm going to plug that back onto the uh, coil. Here's the flywheel. Remember how easy that came off. It's just as easy to put back on. I'm going to match up the keyway. There's a keyway inside of there. And uh, that matches up with the crankshaft keyway. Slide that down on there. Then uh, we got to get our, our nut. Got our 13 millimeter here. We're going to drive this back on here. That feels about right. It's not loose at all. Everything's turning just fine. Got our side cover here with our recoil starter in it. Uh, everything's back together on the flywheel side, so we're going to go ahead and put this in there. I'm going to start working on the bar side here with the chain. I pulled this little rubber grommet through this plastic housing. Now it just gets this little cap. Uh, no, it did not have a screw in there. It's just a, a little bushing. Uh, so we're going to get the oil pump back in there. We've got our clutch. So here's the oil pump. Everything looks okay with the uh, 
the oil pump worm gear. Everything looks okay with the, the gear in there. So we're going to slide it up on there. Kind of push it down in there so it's seated. So this gets a uh, little washer here. washer got our clutch got our three-quarter or 19 millimeter socket I'm not gonna run it up too tight just uh, it'll tighten itself when it's going remember these are left-handed threads so it's lefty tighty in this case. That's all it needs. Make sure nothing's behind it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, got our little bearing here for the clutch. That slides on there. I already greased it up a little bit while I had it apart. No better time than the present. Clutch drum goes on. The worm gear has a little bar on it and uh, I can see the bar right underneath of the clutch itself and the clutch drum has a notch in it with a, a little groove so this lines up with the uh, with the wire for the worm gear there it goes it just snapped right into there and then uh, washer goes on there and circlip goes on there just like that so that feels good nothing binding feels like the worm gear is attached that moves freely. All right. Uh, what's next is the the uh, handle. So we can wrap that back around here where it came from. Got it. Alright, well that's all back together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the air cleaner stuff back on there. This little guy here fits in there. Maybe like that. Here's the um, rubber boot I took out for the carburetor adjustment screws. Just kind of forcing that back in where it came from. Got the handle attached. Went ahead and put the air cleaner back on. This little screen here for the engine. Um, these little rubber plugs go back in place. See, I'm gonna get a new spark plug for it. This one is, this one's really bad. I'd hate to get, uh, get any of that gunk down in there. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I've got to let the RTV set anyways for 24 hours. So tomorrow morning, I'll, um, have to try to get it together. And, uh, we can go ahead and put the bar and chain on it. Why not while we're here? One of the last things I'm going to do is go ahead and put this stud in here for the engine. Um, that thread's right in there. 
then I can use the, uh, the socket wrench on this outside nut to drive it into the, uh, into the block. Got a ratchet here with a three-quarter socket on it. Oh yes, that's very nice. Okay, that's got it. So next thing to do is to hold back on this bar stud. And pop this old nut off. Now we're ready to put the chain on and the bar. All right, well she's back together. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a, um, that might be a little tight on that chain. Uh, see if I can find a new uh, spark plug and uh, oh I still need to put the muffler on there yeah we got the MS290 back together uh, with our 390 conversion got everything back together um, I have had this running it took me a little bit of time to fiddle around with it uh, to get the carburetor kind of set right but um, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and start it up and let you hear it. So to start these steels, you've got the switch over here to the left of the trigger. And uh, you squeeze the trigger and push that all the way down to set the choke. And uh, we're going to take a few pulls on it here. There it goes. Hasn't been started in, I don't know, a week or two, so that's pretty good. Well, you can see it runs. I, actually, I think I'm out of gas. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this this series with this uh, MS290 conversion there. Um, I'm hopefully going to get it into some wood soon and get it doing some cutting. But uh, for now, it's running and. Uh, I'll keep tuning on it a little bit and um, and let you know how that goes. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.